What do you think the differences and the similarities are between Greeks and Turks in the Aegean Sea? Uh, there, there are not so much similarities. The, the only similarities I can see in the Aegean is the fishing boats. For instance, not the architecture. There, look, uh, there uh, you have uh, beating uh, us on the architecture. I've seen to, uh, went to Simi, I went to Corfu, I went to uh, Samos, and uh, I, I know you care m more to your islands than we care to our uh, coastal villages and coastal uh, uh, cities, like Kushadasi. It's, it's now full of stones. It's ugly, it became ugly. It was a beautiful village. It was a beautiful, uh, small village. Now, and uh, any time I write an article about this uh, phenomenon, I always give the example of uh, Greek islands, how uh, the law is implemented uh, in the islands. Now, you ask the question about uh, the difference of architecture. Yeah, there is a great difference of uh, agriculture. I, I think it shows a little bit of culture. It's a, the Greeks and Turks have different cultures. So it reflects uh, on the ar architecture. It's different. The difference is there. We Turks, we are not, we don't know how to use the sea as much as the Greeks do. We don't, uh, we are a little bit distant. We, we are land people. We like the land. We want to touch and uh, stay there. If you like the land, so then why do you insist on the island? Uh, uh, we are trying to balance uh, the balance of power uh, in the Aegean. Uh, but, you know, uh, today's realities might not be realities of tomorrow. So one uh, cannot say that that's the policy and it's not going to change. What do you think the first step would be the beginning uh, in the Aegean, I mean, for the problems to be solved? Sophia, I honestly uh, don't believe that uh, any government, Greek or Turkish government, can solve the Aegean problems. Therefore, I'm always insisting, let's freeze the problems. Let's freeze them. At least, let's live without crisis. Because we cannot solve it. Because those are funny problems. Those are psychological problems. They are not really strategic problems. So why do we come up with them? Uh, because we are Turks and Greeks. You know, it's a unique uh, combination. You can't imagine. I mean, you can't imagine how uh, my people in Ankara think and how your people here th uh, interpret the same declaration, for instance. You say it's a, uh, white. We say it's, we interpret it as black. Like, it, it, we are so different from each other because we are suspicious. It's the years of the history, everything. But we are, I'm, I, we, people are fed up with history, fed up with con confrontation. It will come one day it's, uh, uh, that uh, people will understand that, uh, look, it's stupid to live uh, like this. When it will come, I think uh, after uh, Cyprus problem will be solved. Cyprus problem is going to be solved one way or another in two, three years' time, not more. What Özal and Papandreou tried to do with, uh, in da uh, with the sum uh, Davos summit, they couldn't because it was too late. Uh, Özal was uh, sick and then uh, Papandreou uh, became sick as well. Uh, it was last years of their power. Unfortunately, it was too late. If they could have met uh, a few years back, then they could have done. Uh, no, the islands, uh, and I, I tell you one thing, uh, that some of the, some Turkish politicians saying all the time that uh, there is a possibility that we get the islands, etc. Uh, don't believe in that. I mean, I, uh, the Turkish public opinion uh, not looking to the islands from that angle. Those islands are Greeks. They belong to Greece. I mean, uh, well, if a war will break, what, what, what are you going to do? I'm not talking about this, but in their minds, 
it is not Turkish. That's very important. For instance, it is not like Cyprus is considered. Because there, there was a Turkish presence. Then people thought, yes, uh, Cyprus is Greek and Turkish. But the islands, they are Greek. Ali, let me ask you, what do you think the possibilities are between exchanging things uh, between Greeks and Turks? Uh, what are the, the profits that you see in this exchange? There is a huge business potential. Uh, the, there are so many things that uh, the islanders can provide from the shore. Uh, the, the meat, uh, even the fish, uh, everything, instead of uh, getting from the mainland uh, to the uh, islands, it's much more cheaper to get it from the sea across. Can you imagine Turkey and Greece having good relations? All the the islands can get four or five times richer than now with tourism, with trade, with Turkey. Uh, instead of getting the electricity uh, from the main uh, land, the electricity is there, the water is there next to them. Can you imagine? Uh, every year, uh, at, least, at least 10 million uh, Turks come from Istanbul, Ankara, to spend their holidays in, within the coast. And they want to do and go for one or two days somewhere else to a different culture, to spend money, to buy something and come back. It's incredible. You don't need to wait for the Germans or the uh, Dutch would give, uh, try to uh, bargain with you for uh, even 25 cents and uh, uh, those are the uh, Turks are much more generous than the uh, Germans and the uh, Swedes, that's for sure. <laughs> Ali, you have a house in Kusadasi, so that means that you know uh, the people in the area. What do you think they feel about the Greek islands? How, how do they see the Greek islands in the Aegean? Whoever comes to Kusadasi or to the coast, seeing, for instance, Samo so close to, I say, my God, I mean, the islands are so close, you know, there is this first reaction. The second reaction is the envy, envy to go there. Because of visa requirements, because of uh, restrictions, all sorts, they can't go it. And you know, when you, you have restrictions, people do want more. And the envy to go, to see the difference, uh, to spend the night, uh, eat there, and come back. And the more they can't do it, the more they get frustrated, and later on, the more they get disinterested. Uh, but there is a huge potential. The, the potential is there. I mean, I myself, with my family, uh, I would love to, because with a small boat, it's 10 minutes, Samos. It's nothing. Is it because of the visa that uh, you are declined yes. to go? Yes, yes. And yes. the visa you have to get it from where? Oh from? my God, I mean you have to... Uh, from Izmirni? Uh, to, from Izmir or Istanbul, you know, uh, they ask all the... Uh, so many things. I mean, if you are not uh, a known person uh, to Greek embassies, it's very difficult to go there. Still today, uh, I've heard so many Turks going to the islands coming back saying that they are so friendly. They are friendly because, you know, they are living with, uh, with Turkey just six miles away. You know, they, they see every day. But after so many years of experience, coming to Greece, uh, seeing Greek people in Turkey, uh, you're right. There is no animosity among the people. At least the people, uh, people is, they are ready to give up even remaining animosities. Uh, it's happily that today the Greek mentality is not built up on the war with Turkey. You know, uh, when I look from the Turkish angle, from the Turkish side, uh, we have so many problems, you know. <laughs> 
so uh, Greece or Greek people is uh, not considered as the enemy.